when you choose those whom you accompany because then you feel like you are with your brethren you feel like you are with those who uh, may uplift your morale and get you closer to Allah Azza wa Jal. That's why the scholars say, accompany those who are purer than you and those who are more knowledgeable than you. Who do we choose as friends usually? When you look at your contact list, open your contact list and try to find out from your contact list how many get you closer to Allah Azza wa Jal. How many will you find? This one is in for work. This one is for school. This one is my wasita. You have wasita here in Kuwait? Big, big wow, like us, mashallah. Welcome to the Gulf region. We have big wow. If I want to have a booking to uh, uh, an airline, I have to have wasita. If I have to have want something to, I need to be much quicker and faster in government relations, I have to have wasita. So all of my contacts are like this. This man sells sheep, so I can buy them for sacrifice, Udhiya in Hajj, he sells them sheep. Huh? This, this guy has this, this guy has that. Who among my contact list, who gets me closer to Allah? Very few. So then I have a problem. Now, a stranger in Islam is divided into two types. A stranger who is righteous and pious on his own. So he prays, he fasts, he abides by the sunnah, but he does not communicate this to others. And when the punishment and wrath of Allah falls upon a nation, he will be included with them. The second type is the best of all. And this is the saved type. And those are who are pious and righteous, but they also contribute to the community by enforcing and enjoying uh, 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 virtue and good and preventing evil and vice. This is your responsibility as a Muslim. When the wrath of Allah comes, you will be saved. Allah Azza wa Jal would not punish the people or the residents of a village while their people are those who enforce the law of Allah Azza wa Jal. Zainab bin Jahsh, may Allah be pleased with her, said that the Prophet ﷺ entered my house one day terrified. And he said, Wailun lil Arab min sharrin qad iqtarab. Woe to the Arabs from an evil that is coming close to them. From the dam of Ya'juj and Ma'juj, it had been opened this much. So Zainab asked, O Prophet of Allah, can destruction befall upon us while there are good ones, there are righteous people among us? The Prophet said, yes, this is possible. When evil spreads and is overwhelming. Why? Because these righteous people are not saying the word of truth. They're not changing. They're seeing evil in front of them and they pass by and say, Astaghfirullah, la hawla. Ya khi, talk. What you're doing is wrong, Akhi. Why don't you come and pray with us? Akhi, you cannot chit chat with this woman. Akhi, you cannot drink in the uh, uh, daytime of Ramadan. You, nobody speaks. The music is playing everywhere. What can we do? You can do a lot, but you have to take the step forward so that Allah Azza wa Jal would not punish you for that.